Actually, no, this cap size is very, whoa, 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 whoa. This cap size is very small. Do they give me sizes or no? Bro. This one isn't my typical style of videos, but I was originally going to do a hair review, um, unboxing, try on of Love Me Hair. I got a headband wig from them, but the wig did not fit. So instead, I'm here to tell you guys why you shouldn't buy from Love Me Hair. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the wig. I do have a clip of me trying it on. Um, that I'll include at the end as well so you guys can see that I'm literally not lying the wig did not fit um, but this was the wig they sent me I was super excited for it but it literally like the back stretches but barely like this wig I don't know who it was supposed to fit on like let me show y'all because I'm looking at it again and I'm like, hmm, maybe, maybe you know I was bugging. But I'm about to show y'all. Like, who is this wig supposed to fit on? Who? <laughs> I'm getting tight just from trying to do that because I literally spent all night um, thinking I would have, you know, a decent review for you guys. Um, so I bought the wig and it was on sale. Um, the original listed price, I'll tell you guys that right now. So I got it from like their Cyber Monday sale or whatever. The original listed price is $349. And I put that in air quotes because this is not a wig that you would pay $350 for. This is ridiculous. Like, um, and it was on sale for $139. I had an extra coupon, and so it came out to $115. Um, and y'all, like, I was so excited. It came with some extra headbands or whatever. The headbands are really not that cute. Like, um, it did come with wig caps and like some hairpins or whatever like you know your basic little thing um but this wig <laughs> did not fit like it's literally like they sent me a hairpiece they sent me a hairpiece and not only is that like sale price that they put on or whatever like fraudulent low-key not even low-key it is fraudulent um they pay people for reviews so all the reviews that you've been seeing for love me hair um it's all part of some like rebate program that they have and i'm literally going to read it to you right now basically you comment on their facebook page leave a review if it's liked over 50 times you get 50 dollars back if it's liked over 150 times they give you another 50 dollars and the same thing with a youtube video um you post a hair review on youtube um over 100 views 50 dollars over 2,000 views, another $50. And then unboxing on Instagram, over 300 views, $50, which is literally nothing. If you have like a thousand plus followers or whatever, people watch your video all the time, the views come in easy. Over 2,000 views on another $50. So that's how they're getting like all these little unboxing videos, these little things on Instagram. Um, this is, there's no reason why a headband wig shouldn't fit. You know, like I, I don't think I have a big head and even if I did why aren't there additional sizes um and yeah like the hair was 115 and like it was listed as a sale price but I don't think the hair is even worth 
more than $115. I don't think it's worth $115, period. Um, like, I could have gone on Amazon and got better hair for half the price. Like, I could have stuck with my regular AliExpress vendors. I could have stuck with my Amazon vendors. I did not have to try this hair company. Like, <laughs> I don't know why I even thought this would be a good idea. Um, and then I emailed them because um, I'm thinking, you know, like, I literally put it on, and you'll see in the next one, I literally put it on and I'm like, whoa, like, did I get the wrong size? Like, were there sizes? I usually never miss that. So I emailed them and I asked them, um, like, hey, look, are there additional sizes? Um, I think, you know, like, I maybe ordered the wrong size, so I'd like to exchange for a different size. They say the wig can be adjusted with the Velcro and wig combs, and you can ask a hairstylist to help you if needed. What hairstylist? What? The wig does not fit. The wig is small. You sent me a wig piece. Like, that's a little... Y'all saw it. It literally looks like a ponytail. Like, what? And then, so now they're like, um, I have to pay for shipping. This is an international company. They're in China. So for me to pay USPS shipping, sorry, I'm like, they're telling me I have to pay for the shipping. That's like $30 off right there. At least $30. And then they also take um, an additional $20 based off their return policy. Like, honestly, y'all, do not order from this hair company. Do not order from them. This, like, this is absolutely ridiculous. Like, I'm about to go to the post office right now to return this because... I don't know what this is like I really I was so excited that like, the boxing was cute whatever but love me hair is not worth it at all at all and I'm about to include the clip for you guys so y'all can see that I am not bugging flashback Four. Yeah, no. This wig cannot fit on my head, y'all. This wig was. Who is this gonna fit? Whose head is this going to fit? I'm putting it right back in the bag because they're about to get their wigs sent right back to them. Wow. I'm really disappointed. I literally put mad product on my edges, gelled my hair for no reason. End of flashback. Like, this hair really sucks. <laughs> Don't trust these little Instagram boutiques. Don't trust these little ads that you see on Instagram. Definitely do your own research when you buy hair. Um, honestly, like Amazon, there's a, some very good Amazon vendors. There's some very good AliExpress vendors. Um, I can do a video on my favorites if you guys would like to see that. But this hair company, absolutely not. Do not buy from them. Do not. Do not. Do not avoid love me hair at all costs. I literally, I literally broke a nail trying to put that wig on, y'all. Talking about some go to hairstylist. Excuse me. Now I have to go and put on another wig and glue it down. Even though I'm gonna wash my hair probably on like Sunday, I just I need to sue for emotional distress. Matter of fact, I need to do a class action lawsuit because. Everybody being lied to. Everybody. Y'all could join. Hit me up if you want to join the class action lawsuit because this is ridiculous. <sighs> anyway, y'all, wish me luck with this return. Um, I'm really about to be on some time where I'm going to just call my bank and get the rest of the money. Get a partial refund. 
if they really have UK for shipping because this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Um, anyone who has ordered for them, I'm so sorry you got swindled. I'm so sorry. I'll start a support group. A love me here support group because this is ridiculous. Ugh, hate me here. They really hate me. I don't know why they would put me through this trauma. This is traumatizing. Anyway, like I literally have a headache. That's how mad I am. Um, alrighty guys, that's all I have for y'all. Um, see y'all in the next video, I guess. Um, which will probably come a lot sooner. Because this, I don't know what this was. <laughs> alright y'all, bye.